And welcome back everyone, my name is Gio. In this video, Billy B and I will be giving you our take on the AFC West division. Here are the future totals for wins for every team and the odds to win the division, conference, and Super Bowl. We'll start off with the Denver Broncos, who Vegas has pegged at winning seven games this year. After having some pretty mediocre quarterback plays since their Super Bowl win two years ago, Broncos boss John Elway decided an upgrade was needed and brought in free agent Case Keenum, who led the Minnesota Vikings to a 13-3 record last year. He isn't flashy, but he's productive, and he won't turn the ball over like the quarterbacks Denver has rolled out since Peyton Manning left. The Broncos have a solid pair of wide receivers for Keenum to target with Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders. And running back C.J. Anderson had his first 1,000-yard running season last year. The defense is going to look a little different from last year. The no-fly zone might not be the same as a lost stud cornerback at Keith Tlaib. But the Broncos were fortunate enough to have defensive head Bradley Chubb fall to them in the draft. And with Chubb paired with sack specialist Vaughn Miller, these two guys are going to wreck all kinds of havoc against opposing quarterbacks. It's a different defense from the one that helped Denver win the Super Bowl three years ago, but one that should be just as deadly. And Case Keenum is as good as Peyton Manning was in that final year when he was limited due to injury. Denver is one of my dark horse teams in 2018. My best case scenario for them is to go 4-2 and two in their division and 7-3 and three in the other 10 games. I think ultimately they'll end up with a record of 10-6, and six, which is way over the 7 total. So I strongly recommend that you take over the 7 for the Denver Broncos this year. Next up are the Kansas City Chiefs. Vegas has them at winning 8.5 games this year. Well, the big change from last year is at quarterback as the Chiefs shipped out veteran Alex Smith and have given the keys to the offense to the big-arm second-year man, Patrick Mahomes. I've always been a big Alex Smith fan, but ultimately he just couldn't win the big games, even with all of that talent. And there is a lot of talent on the team. Running back Kareem Hunt led the NFL in rushing and contributed in the passing game as well. Sammy Watkins was brought in to help fellow wide receiver Tyreek Hill and stud tight end Travis Kels. You can see how important Kels is to that offense when he had to leave the playoff game last year against Tennessee. The offense sputtered after that. The defense is good enough to keep the Chiefs in most games, and Andy Reid is still one of the better head coaches in the NFL. It really all comes down to Mahomes. I like the idea that he basically held a clipboard and learned from a solid veteran in his first year. I don't know if they'll be able to go 5-1 and one in their division like they did last year. This is a team that beat both Super Bowl participants from last year, New England and Philadelphia, back-to-back -to, -back to start off the year. My best-case scenario for Kansas City has them going 4-2 and two in the division and 7-3 and three in the other 10 games. I like them to go 10-6 and six this year, so I'm definitely going to take the over. I'm not sure if I'm going to bet on them to win the division, conference, or Super Bowl, but I do like them over the 8.5. Next up are the L.A. Chargers, who Vegas have as winning nine and a half games this year. Last year, the Chargers came close to making the playoffs, but they had a terrible time scoring in the red zone, gaining the fourth most yards on offense, but ranking just 13th in points scored. They also couldn't quite rebound from an 0-4 start to begin the season. The defense was pretty good against the pass, but awful against the run. And their special teams killed them as the Chargers can put the blame of several losses squarely on the shoulders of the field goal kickers. For me, the Chargers are a bit of an enigma. I actually never bet on them. They could win their division or they could come in dead last. It wouldn't surprise me. Phillip Rivers is still a top quarterback in this league. And running back Melvin Gordon is also top 10. But they're just too fickle for me to really have any confidence in them. The best case scenario is that they go 4-2 and two in their division and 7-3 and three in the rest of their games. I have them going at 9-7, and seven, which is slightly under the Vegas total. I'm not going to be betting any money on these guys. I never do. I strongly suggest you pass. 9-7 and seven for the L.A. Chargers. And the last team in the division are the Oakland Raiders. Vegas has them at winning eight games this year. The big news for the Raiders fans is the return of John Gruden as head coach after serving seven years in the booth. After making the playoffs for the first time since 2002, they followed that up last year with a lackluster 6-10 and season. Gruden will have to get quarterback David Carr back on track, but his version of the West Coast offense with all that tricky verbiage might take a while to master. Carr does have Amari Cooper and the newly acquired Georgie Nelson to throw the ball to. On defense, Khalil Mack is the straw that stirs the proverbial drink. Gruden brought in Paul Gunther from Cincinnati to run the defense. 
Look for a style similar to the Bengal defense that he and current Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer installed, one that will make a lot of use out of Mac. So lots of changes in Oakland this year, and it might take a while to learn the new systems on both sides of the football. My best case scenario for Oakland is for them to go 3-3 three and three in the division this year, and maybe 4-6 and six with the other 10 games. Ultimately, I have them going 5-11, and 11, which is well below the 8-8 eight and eight record that Vegas has. So I strongly recommend you take the under 8 win total for Oakland this year. Okay, and that's my take on the AFC West. For his thoughts on this division, here's Billy B. First up for the AFC West is the Denver Broncos. The Broncos went out and got quarterback Case Keenum in the offseason to stabilize a position that has been bad since Manning retired. The Broncos have seemed to have a great draft, and they expect to have big, big contributions from the rookies. Broncos also have one of the best wide receiver cores in the NFL with um, Emmanuel Sanders, Demarius Thomas, and rookie Cortland Sutton, who will make a name for himself quickly in the NFL. The Broncos still have one of the best defenses in the NFL and will keep opponents out of the end zone. I have the Broncos going over the win total of seven games, and I would bet this. I would not bet them for the AFC West, AFC, or Super Bowl. Next is the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs will be starting a new quarterback this season in first-year starter Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes is like a mini Brett Favre, tons of arm talent, but will throw some picks. I believe he will have some extra pressure on him this season because the Chiefs' defense is not very good. I have them going below their win total of 8.5, but I would not bet this. I would also not bet them for the AFC West, AFC, or Super Bowl. Next, we have the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers might have the worst luck of any team in the NFL. They constantly have key injuries that hurt the team. They have the most complete roster of any any of the AFC West teams, and they have a fantastic and very underrated defense. I have them going under the win total of 9.5, but I would not bet them. I would not bet them for the AFC West, AFC, or Super Bowl. Last, we have the Oakland Raiders. The Raiders made a big splash in hiring John Gruden as the head coach. I think this was a horrible move, and he's quickly reminding me of what Chip Kelly did with the Eagles. He's alienating his best players. Khalil Mack is still not in camp. That doesn't have any end in sight. And they also shipped out one of the best punters in the NFL in Marquez King. The team does not have much talent, and I think Derek Carr is a bit overrated. I have the Raiders going under the win total of eight, and I would bet this as this is one of my top bets. I would not bet them for the AFC West, AFC, or Super Bowl. Okay, and those are our thoughts on the AFC West division. Make sure you check out all of our other videos and give us a thumbs up. Give us your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope you enjoyed this video. For Geo, I'm Billy B. See you next time, and let's take the man's money.